Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Time again for another Knife of the Day. This is the series where we go through the collection, my collection, one knife at a time, one day at a time. I own all of the knives that you're going to see. I bought them. No one gave them to me, loaned them to me or anything. And we've been going through the collection for, man, almost a year now. I have a um, playlist of all the knives. Go check it out. I have a couple of playlists you should check out. A lot of knives, cigars, coins, all kinds of things. I'm going to try to do a little bit more of that over the weekends. We do this Monday through Friday over the weekends. I either sell knives or do special things. And we'll start doing more and more special things over the weekend. So subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any of them. This is the first time I've shown one of my case knives. Uh, this is the Melon Tester uh, Case Double uh, X. Now, let me just say this. There are huge case knife fans. Be kind to me. Educate us all in the comments. I am not a, I'm a huge case knife fan because I love them. They're inexpensive compared to some of the other knives I buy. I love old fashioned knives. I'm, I'm gonna be 59 in July, so I'm f late 58s. I love the old knives. I love what they do to knives. I have a book on case knives. I don't even understand the book, okay? <laughs> so the reason I've hesitated doing some of my case knives, I don't know, I have like 15, 20 of them, is because I don't have a lot of information and it's hard to get information from case knives. So, um, you know, on the box, here's the box, uh, you know, uh, they give you the number, they give you the name, a little information. I get online trying to find it even from case.com and can't find it. It's tough. Okay, so I'm going to tell you that a lot of what you'll hear from me with case knives will be my love for them for just what they are. And that's why I bought them. Um, there are other channels, there's a million knife channels on YouTube, and some of them are very specific. Go check them out. I, I recommend them. I'm not that channel. I'm just gonna tell you why I love <laughs> my case knives, okay? And uh, I even had to bring out a tape measure to measure <laughs> this. You really start appreciating Spydeco. You start appreciating Blade HQ. I guess Blade HQ doesn't handle case knives. I don't know. I tried to find this one. Couldn't find it. You know, websites that give you all the dimensions and stuff. Again, I'm not a huge case knife person, but I love case knife knives. So you're going to see them. This one is one of the most impractical knives around. They really are, but I love it so much. When I got this in my hand, I literally thought about filling up a stop collecting spiticles and stuff and just getting all of these knives. This is the Case XX Melon Tester. Melon Tester. It has two real thin, very sharp knives. Uh, this one I measured at 5 inches, and this one I measured at 3.75 inches. Very thin, very sharp. Open up with the nail neck. I love this knife. <laughs> now, for you youngsters, and most of you are younger, I know some people are in my age group, but a lot, most of you are younger. The Melon Tester, the reason it's real thin... When I was growing up, my grandmother lived, I was brought up in Youngstown, Ohio. There was a part of Youngstown, Ohio on the east side or north side that we called the Sharon Line, and it was more rural. And we used to stay there, me and my two brothers, over the uh, summers. And they'd get these big trucks, cargo trucks coming down with fresh watermelons, just picked or whatever. And what you would do is you'd flag them down, you'd go out there, and they'd cut a plug out of a watermelon for you to test. 
And my grandmother would say if it was sweet, done, not to her liking, yada, yada. And that's what this is, a melon tester. Okay, you cut out a plug, you taste it, you see if it's ripe or not. This is the double. Now, do I test melons? No. <laughs> I'm sure, to me, when I opened it up my very first time, I've had this for a couple of years, I said, man, you know, this would be great for like a letter opener or some other tasks. It's thin stock, stainless steel. I don't know what the steel is. Very strong spring. And of course, the double blade is just wonderful. It really is. For those who understand the case, this is an XX6200SS. I don't know. I don't know what all that means. Just real briefly, I'm going to talk more about this, but real briefly, a quick, I don't know if you'd call it a pet peeve. I, I'm one of those guys, I don't know if you picked it up. Live and let live, okay? I mean, hey, I may disagree with you, but I don't go crazy. There's a lot of different opinions about a lot of different things, and I'm, I'm okay with that. I collect a lot of things from books to movies to coins to whatever, knives. One thing I don't like, it frustrates me. It took me a long time to find out Spydaco stuff or Chris Reeve knives stuff or Browse Place, just knives. People get in these little clicks. It's <laughs> I was in the good click in high school, but it's like high school and these are grown people dealing with money. Who you know, who you don't, yada, yada. I hate that because new people don't get enough information. There should be a lot of information about Case Knives because Case has a huge history. They have a book. I tried to go through the book today. I didn't understand it. It's like you only know if you know. So I don't know about that. In everything I collect, there's part of that. There's a snobbiness and not a willingness to learn. So please, if you are a big case person, I will be bringing case knives out. I will be less intelligent because I don't have a crib sheet on some of these. So please help me out as much as possible. But I'll tell you, I love this melon tester. <laughs> I just love it. I love the thin shape of it. Of course, it's a knife. It can do damage. But, man, I just love it. And this handle is special. Now, there's a lot of melon testers, some older ones. I went on eBay. I mean, I really was starting to get serious about these. And then I went, no, let's get back. Let's, let's focus, Kevin. <laughs> Excuse me. But look at this handle. So it's jig bone. And it's kind of like pocket worn. That's a term they use where some of the edges are smooth like you've worn it in your pocket and look at the ornate bolsters on this stainless steel bolsters this has the two x's and some curly cues but also it has these diagonal things that go aside it feels so great and then on the bottom it's just real ornate again you see those things going across i mean they're dug into this bolster i don't know this was about a hundred bucks and just so well done. Yes, I know. You can tell by the tag that it's new and not older. And there's different tags and different shapes and all of that stuff that makes collectors drool. I will just tell you, I like this knife. I really do. One thing I like about this YouTube channel is it gets me into the cases. You know, when you collect and you buy way too many knives, that's one reason I'm starting to trim down a bit. This, this channel, you guys, this community has helped me do this. I've been digging into my cases and bringing out knives like this going, why did I forget this knife? I mean, I literally almost slept with this knife. Again, one of my least expensive, and you'll see a lot of case knives like that, but man, I love them so much. So it's hard to look up. There's a lot of hidden collector's details. You got to be in the know even to understand the book that I have. Frustrating to me. Very frustrating. I know the price depends on the numbers and all of kinds of stuff. What the 
dots on the blade and all of that. But I want to tell you guys that case knives are just fun knives. And the fact, you'll see some of mine I have locked back, but most of them are just nail neck openers and just makes me feel like I have a knife like my father, definitely a knife like my grandfather had. You know, the kind I grew up with when they pulled out a knife to do little tasks. Just really nice. This, my friends, is the knife of the day. I'm drooling without giving you a lot of information. I'm sorry, I don't have a lot of information. But this is the Melon Tester. Thin, there's a bunch of them around. Not only case, it's, it's a type. But man, I love this knife. It has that ornate stuff. I love bolster knives anyway. That jig bone and then on the edges as if it's been in your pocket all the time. You know, smooth. Love it. The knife of the day is the first of my case knives. I'll put it up against a para military two. And against a military, let's put the military closer, just to give you a look at the size of this long, slim thing. But man, if there was a rating on how good it feels in the hand, that would be a hundred plus, 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 plus. <laughs> I'm serious. Plus, 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 plus. Hey, I'm expecting, I'm doing this, recording this on a Wednesday on a short week. Boy, don't the short work weeks seem longer than the regular weeks? It's only Wednesday. This is only my second day of work, and it feels like I've already gone through a week. Um, I, I should have a new spidecle. That new spidecle that I've been looking for should come in tomorrow. If you're looking at this in the future, you don't care. Just look at the timestamp and you'll see when I got it in. It's a new knife, but there are four different variations. So I want to show that to you as soon as I get it. And I'm going to try something else new. There's only one variation I want to keep. I think I'm going to start doing that. You know, I'm trying to figure out how I handle this whole Spidaco collector's thing. I love touching every single knife, every single knife. Whether it's straight from Spydeco, whether it's a distributor exclusive, I love it. I'm in heaven. Um, but you get a bunch of knives that you may not want, and I've just been keeping them. And I'm trying not to get to my sixth, seventh <laughs> Pelican case. So um, I will actually sell the other three after I do the video of the original one. I say that now, and I haven't held them. If I fall in love with how they hold and stuff, I may change my mind. But anyway, that should be either tomorrow night or the day after, which would be Friday. Anyway, if everything goes well. Anyway, that's it. Don't forget, if you like these kind of videos, thumb it up. I really appreciate you. I really do. I appreciate you so much that I'm only selling knives in front of you guys and not even using the Instagram uh, to sell. And then the ones that aren't sold, at some point, I keep them in my collection. At some point, I'll bring them all together and do a third person, YouTube or someone else, and I'll let you know when I do that. Yeah, the prices will be up, but it'll happen. Um, but if you like that kind of community, thumb it up. Also, um, subscribe, and once you subscribe, hit that bell. I, you know, I have many goals in everything in life. I don't make, I make a hundred dollars off of YouTube every six months. So <laughs> this is a love for it. But my goal is to get this one little thing. Less than 30% of the people who watch the shows actually subscribe. I'd love to get it at least 40% or whatever. But I'd love to get under, over that 30%. You guys have a perfect day. I, it's getting hot and humid. Cool yourselves off. Take good care of yourself. You got to do that first. Some people call that selfishness. I say preparing so that you can take care of your friends and families as well. There's a reason why the stewardesses on a plane say when you're going down and the masks come off, go out. Even if you're with a baby, 
Put it on yourself first so you can help others. Right? Be healthy first. Sorry this went so long, uh, but I'm loving this knife. And it just uh, made me think of a lot of things. You guys have a good day. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.